Hello friends, welcome to the new session where we will be learning a new topic. Do you know what is the topic all about? Any idea or guesses? Today, I am going to teach you a new topic which is called as division. Have you heard the term before children? What do you mean by division? So what is a division children? Any idea? We have heard this term on a daily basis, right? We hear it in our daily life, be it in the house, be it in the school, in the play area, wherever we go, we hear this term division. So what do you mean by division? Dividing something or separating something in equal parts, right? Now, for example, there is a girl whose name is Kitty, okay? This girl has got 25 beads with her, okay? And she wants to divide these 25 beads equally. Now, what will she do? Just imagine that she is having a 25 beads and she wants to separate it in small groups so that if any of her friends come, she can gift it to them. So, what will she, what will she do, children? So, now let us see the 25 she will be splitting as 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, first she will start with 4. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, how many are there? So, there are 4, 8, 12, 16. So, 16 beads she has divided, right? So, now she have 9 more beads to do, right? So, what will she do? Again, she will divide 1, 2, 3, 4. So, now there are 20 beads. So, how many is left with her? Very good. She is having 5 more beads, right? And if she distributes the 5 equally among these 5 groups, then the beads are equally divided. So, what she will do? She will add one bead more in each of her lot, right? So, if you see, she is having a small box in which she has divided the entire 25 beads equally so that if any of her friends come in, she can just take that one group and she can gift it to them. Got it? So, what do you mean by division here? Dividing the big amount of some commodity into equal smaller parts. Now, sometimes it happens that you cannot divide it equally. There will be some proportion left, okay? So, shall we see the same example again? Now, assume that this girl kitty has got 27 beads with her, okay? Now, what will she do? How can she divide 27 beads now? So, what will she do now? If this is how she is dividing, then there will be 2 beads left alone. Right? Otherwise, what can she do is, she will be splitting it in the group of 3. So, let's count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's see how many are remaining now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I have to divide 27 beads. So, which means I am left with 6 beads more, right? So, what will I do? I will form it in 2 more groups. So, now my 27 beads are divided into how many groups children? Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, now this 27 beads I have divided in 9 groups. Okay, and this 25 beads I have divided into 5 groups. Okay, 
So, grouping of these big number of beads into smaller parts, smaller equal parts is called as division. So, division makes our work easier and we know in a particular place how much we should accommodate and how many such particular group has to be formed in order to distribute the given number equally. Clear? So, shall we move ahead? 